to Don't Starve. Uh, the, the original Don't Starve, right in the Giants version. Uh, now, I know you would usually play it by friends around the, this time I'm streaming right now, but none of them are really online right now. And I don't feel like playing another multiplayer game by myself again. So until Fish here gets his, oh, his shit fixed, oh, which he should actually be getting it fixed here soon, I'm probably not going to be doing many more friend streams. Uh, but yeah. From... This, this is Don't Starve. I really fucking love this game. I cannot describe how much... I, I have sunk so many hours into this game on PC and on Xbox. But this is the first time I have booted this game up in a while. <laughs> like, I think it's been, like, roughly... Maybe a, a full year since I last played this game on Xbox. And... It's been a few months since I last played this game on PC. So it's been a while. Now, Don't Starve, this is uh, the giant, giant edition. I'm just gonna call it Don't Starve, it's much easier to say that. This is not the version of the game that's been constantly updated. That's Don't Starve Together. Don't Starve to This game has been updated in a few years. That's because, well, its story has concluded, and Don't Starve Together. Don't Start Together has an overarching story. It's been going on for updates now. But still, I, I'm i going to be bad at this game. The goal for this game that I have in place is simple. Reach Day 30. More particularly, Day 31. That is when winter ends. If, if I remember correctly, that's when winter ends and we fight the and we fight deer claws. That is my only goal for don't st for this don't start. If I die after day 10, oh well, I'll boot up another... If I die after like day 5, actually, because days are actually somewhat long in this. If I die after day 5, then I... Then oh well. That's a, that's the end of the, me playing don't start, and I boot up don't start together. This is, just, this is just a game I can play for now until more games come out that I'm interested in playing and want to be interested in stream. I could play a few other games, like, for example, No Man's Sky is a game I should probably play again. But yeah, without further ado, if I can open this up, hold on. There we go. Without further ado, let's play Don't Starve. If you're wondering why I did it, oh, I, <laughs> yeah, I haven't played this game before. Survival 2-1, Survival 1-2. Oh yeah, this game has a adventure mode or whatever. Uh, if you want to do it, just open it. I opened up a bottle of a uh, root beer, not actual beer. I'm not 21 yet, so no drunk streams now. Doesn't mean I can't drink up a bottle though. But I have like five more behind me actually right now. I'm not good at this game. Standard, don't start. I'm not gonna enable Reign of Giants. I could re enable Reign of Giants, but Reign of Giants adds in a lot of other shit. What caves do I have access to? Wilson, Willow, uh, Wolfgang, and Wendy. Okay. I like playing Wendy a lot. Her little ghost companion is very useful, but you know, if you want to buy the other companion, if you want to look by the other guys, uh, Wilson starts off with nothing. He's ba he's basically the basic guy. He just grows a beer which helps him keep warm, and you can also turn into oh, a way to respawn. Willow ha comes equipped with a fire, and I don't I don't and I think her bear in this version can attack as well. I'm not sure though. That might only be built together. Wolfgang, depending on how full your, your hunger is, means you deal more damage, and less damage you deal, the less it's full. And we have Wendy, my personal favorite player. It's not a fire tournament sister, which means you can summon up Abigail to fight alongside you. Feels comfortable in the dark, which means her, I think it means her sand doesn't drain as quickly as the others, and doesn't hit very hard, so she's actually fairly weak. World settings. This is what I want to look at. 
antidote star of experience. I like to increase some of the stuff. Like, for example, world size default land branch land loot. I like to leave all this similar. But I do like to increase skeletons, pig heads. I don't like to increase caves. Lightning now keep. Anything else I'm gonna try and increase piece of can I remember I'd like to increase the other things. Cool. Actually, not really. Yeah, we'll bump up more. Yeah. Deer Clops getting boss in this version? Yeah, Deer Clops is. Just stand and don't starve. He's the only boss. So, yeah. He's actually our, he actually is our final boss. No other reason not starting this up as well. Let me take a swig of this root beer. I remember when Mark 5 played this game. Oh, hey. Lo loading screens. I forgot that this game had that. Hi, Maxwell. Say, hey, pal, you don't look so good. We're gonna find some meat before night comes. Maxwell, I am dead on the floor. Never mind. I'm awake. Yeah. I gotta remember the controls for this game. Is there a map? There's a map. Okay. I'm used to playing modded Don't Starve Together. Oh, and would you look at that? This is, this right here is actually very useful. This is a touchstone. This is a respawn point for us. A one-time use respawn point. Anyways. We wanna do early games, just gather much, much cut grass and much, as much twigs and shit as possible. Oh, there's a wormhole right here. This would be a good place to have a base, depending on what else is around. You wanna have a like, kind of localized area for your base, like you wanna be nearby shit. You want your base to be easily accessible, but at the same time, not too far away from major stuff like rock, like rock biome, swamp, and desert. All of those are very useful. Uh, oh, buy a spider nest as well. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about spiders exactly. <laughs> Being this close to base, they can wander very far. I could try and fight them, but I don't have Abigail exactly up, and when he doesn't hit exactly hard either. So this, is a, this is a good uh, haul of resources. Yeah, if you can't tell, this is the main gameplay loop of the game. Uh, quick fun fact, by the way, starving is the least of your worries. I think it will be wise to get myself an axe, Tor not a torch. I can't make it anything else really. I just gotta hope I find some rocks here. I'm gonna try to. Ooh. That's just one. Okay, I can actually destroy this. This is gonna be actually useful to get. That's a bad idea. Sunlock. Monster meat is not very useful for me. Monster meat is not very useful at all for any character, essentially, except for if you get a bird in a cage up. Because then you just feed the monster meat to that bird. Do I want to risk it? I feel like I should. I, I feel like I really should risk the Sandy and just see it. Early game, your Sandy doesn't exactly drain much, and I do have resources on it. And there are flowers on it. So yeah, I'm gonna go Where do you drop me off to? Please know where your dogs. 
Ooh, a rock biome. This is actually very useful. Ooh, well, there is by some birds. Speaking of. Uh... Hey, Mr. Bird. Ignore me, please. I'm just getting some gold. Now that night falls, that means our sandies can start. Well, now that dusk has fallen, our sandies can start draining slowly. It won't drain fast, but it will start draining, and that is not good. Well, at least early game. Once you once you enter mid game uh, gear or whatever. Oh, the, this is that's very useful. Hi, Chester. Is already full as well. Look, we have Chester here. You don't know what Chester does. Chester is, well, easiest way to describe him is just a walking chest. He is the best. He has like 2,000 health or something like that. And if he dies, he just drops everything and respawns the next day. What I want to try and find is a pig village. This should be enough gold after this rock. Ooh. I should probably head back over to my base area. is doing okay-ish, but wouldn't hurt to eat a bear or a carrot. I'm gonna jump back through. Also, I can make a fire. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna get the torch for now. Just keep exploring and just like map out this area right here. Ooh, I'm already getting cold. More rocks. Charlie would have killed me there if I didn't build that torch again. I'm gonna drop this monster. I don't, I don't need it right now. I'm gonna try and save my torch. These these this, these maps are pretty big. That's a corner up here, which I could have been a face. The lore of Don't Starve is really interesting to me. 
So, I'm gonna explain the lore the best way I can. Because it's been, I don't exactly remember all of it, but essentially, Maxwell, the guy who greeted us in the beginning. Oh, well. And this right here is a, this right here is a piece for the, uh, for the adventure mode, but we're not going to try the adventure mode, because the adventure mode is pretty hard. But, uh, as I was saying, Maxwell, uh, was originally from, well, obviously our plane, but just our, our fucking realm or whatever. And he discovered this strange book. He was a found magician, and he discovered this book that gave him powers. Ooh! This is a good area, actually. Well, it's a bad area, but it has good shit in it. Like, a tentacles or whatever. But, uh, what happened was, he eventually... So he started, like, going around using the powers that this book gave him. Or, whatever. Here's another one. My god. Two pieces already. But... So he like went around doing, putting on the shows and got an assistant named Charlie. What happened though was one day I think I, I don't remember exactly, but link it linked to a real world uh, earthquake that happened. One day as he was putting on the show, the something fucked happened and both him and his assistant were were fucking dragged into what this realm referred to as the constant. He was placed upon the nightmare throne, which if you don't know what the nightmare throne is, uh. Don't worry about it. And Charlie was turned into a shadow monster, essentially. Cut to our core survivors, who are were dragged in uh, by Maxwell. We are forced. We we are basically just forced, like put forced into this, essentially. Or we are, we strike up deals with him as well. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Wilson's deal with Maxwell, because there's a little beginning, there's a little cutscene that plays when you boot up this game each time, that is Maxwell, well, that is Wilson interacting with Maxwell, and, I, and Wilson's deal with Maxwell, I'm pretty sure, is for knowledge, essentially. A lot of characters have different deals, however, some characters are dragged in because it's mildly funny. Or, you just might be un unfortunate to be dragged in here. Wes was. Wes is the literally worst character in the game. Shit stats. He enters with nothing. And quite literally just and he's quite literally the joke character. He's just there to make your life hard. I don't I don't remember what I don't know if it's ever stated because we have to piece together this lore ourselves. The characters don't talk at all. The only time we've ever heard them speak is during the fucking <laughs> is during like the little fucking musical video that that, that uh, Clay Entertainment uh, posted, and that was like over years ago. And it's I don't think it's canon. But yeah, my Sandy is not happy with me right now. It's going down rapidly. Oh, also snack break. Oh, very fun. Uh, actually, it's really good. Can I drop anything? I can drop me. Fine. Oh, I can jump. He did! Ow. There we go. Get out. <laughs> this is a very good weapon, and it was absolutely worth it to take all that damage. The tentacle spike is one of the best early game weapons you can get, and it's just like crutch essentially. I did take a lot of damage there, but luckily eating certain foods and spider glands can heal you. Yeah, this is a dead this is like a rocky biome next to the swamp. The map real quick. Okay, so yeah, swamp right here, rocky biome with a lot of stuff and stuff right by it. This is actually some pretty good information. Ooh, and three planks. Is that log armor? That's 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 log suit. Oh, 
I'll store silk, gold, and also, I guess, my spear in you as well. But yeah. I, I think Wendy's deal that she made with Maxwell, well, if at all, was, uh, oh, is this a, this is another touchstone. That's actually very useful. So we have two respawns. If I, I think, I, I don't know if Wendy actually struck her deal. If she might just have taken, because I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure what, uh, Wendy's dad is like Max's brother or like a, or whatever. Something like that. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember the lore heavily. I should probably gather up more grass and twigs, though. Like, can I get the torch? Yeah. Best I restock on these. Here, spiders. So spiders are actually pretty chill the first few days of the game, but as time goes on, they become less and less chill. How they become less chill is that they, their nests grow larger. Going from small, which they currently are, and to medium, which then spawns in a few more spiders, lots of warrior spiders, and then to large, which spawns in many warrior spiders and many normal spiders. And then also after that time passes, they spawn in a spider, it turns into a spider queen. And leaves behind in a previous nest. I don't remember if this is how it works in this game, but that's how it works in uh, together. This is some pretty good coverage we're getting right now. Not all my, not all the knights in Don't Starve will be like this. This is usually my preferred version of Don't Starve maybe because it's a bit more simple. Oh, my Sandy is not doing well. I should probably pick some flowers here. Picking flowers are an easy way to regain your Sandy, but you can also get more Sandy by creating stuff you haven't created before. This is the rock biome right here. It would be very useful if, like, nearby it was the fucking, uh, pig village. That's in the, that might not be in this game. It's in a birch forest. Oh. My, my legs. I forget what those birds, what they're actually called, but I just call them legs. Gonna take another swig from my root beer bottle. This might look like a simple survival. This might look simple, but this game is actually decently hard. Like, arguably, the hardest part about this game is just your first few days. Ooh, this is weird. World generation is weird. Flowers also give you one health if you eat them. But every amount of health counts in this game. Oh. I think in about a few more days, Abigail will be ready to be will be at full power, which means we can finally bring her out. I forget how long the days are. They don't feel particularly long a lot of the time, but they are decently long. Uh, but don't worry, they're going to get much, much shorter here soon. That's when winter strikes. When winter strikes, like half the day is essentially turned into night, and the rest, the other half is just uh, mainly dust with like maybe a bit of uh, actual light. 
That's why that's why winter is like an absolute bastard. Okay, well. We cleared off over here, and this leads me to believe that yes, over here does this this are these are good. This is all good over here. However, I would like it if I can find okay, so yeah. I might sort of base around here though. I might be inclined to. It just depends on it, how far away the pig village is. You know what? Let's go the other way. Let's, let's, let's explore the other way. No reason not to. Best to explore all your options. This is essentially the only way to properly explore your island. You want to be careful in this game as well. You don't want to kill too many innocent creatures. Because if you kill too many in a certain amount of time, you can spawn in a Krampus. And then you get to fight it. And it has like a... Sometimes you want to spawn him in because... When you're able to get a key for a boss, but I don't think that's in this game. I think, I think, but he also has like a, oh, god damn it, not raining. Raining is the absolute worst. I believe because the reason why raining so bad is it lowers your fucking. It just means your sanity is bad, which I think. I, I think my starting season I got here, which is very unlucky. Oh. Oh, hello there, Road. I think the starting season I got is fucking. Uh, starting season I got is, is, is autumn, I'm pretty sure. What I got. Well. Spring and autumn are both starting seasons. Oh, oh here, there, here's another part for the machine. Yep, here's Pig Village. Where does this drop me off? I know I probably shouldn't take this. Oh, that, that's a cave entrance. Okay, so yeah. Where, where, where do you drop me off, though? You drop me off relatively nearby the swamp. This must be very useful. That's really useful. Okay, I, I'm saying my spawn up right here, I guess. Right over here. That is very fucking useful. <laughs> like, you do not know how useful these spawns, are, like, those wormholes are. If I need to decide on a spot, I'm gonna put my base down now. Right here is by its of rock and stone. Uh, right here is pretty decently wide open. I'll put it down right here. There we go. 
give me wood. Okay. So this is actually a pretty decent spawning area or whatever. This is an area for us at least. I think that goes fully charged, but I don't know. I'll check uh, next time. I'm pretty sure it was stale, Wendy. This is a pretty decent area, though. Don't be careful when you chop down too many trees in this game. You could accidentally piss off the tree people. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a mod that I use as a quality of life mod that means you can have both your backpack and your log suit on at the same time that I use on PC because it just makes a lot more sense if you're able to carry both than just one. But mods aren't an option on Xbox because we're fucking hated. I really do feel like more games should have a, like a mod browser on, on, on consoles or whatever. Because it really does suck that a lot of us cosplayers miss out on a lot of content that can be that puts out there. Like, we're not, I'm not asking for it to be like a, it's, like, kind of like a, uh, Fallout 4 and Skyrim type mod browser. Like, those are the only games that, like, have a mod browser on, uh, consoles. Which really sucks. Yeah, fun fact, when Starfield was released, uh, I was planning to originally play it on launch. The reason I didn't, though, was because, well, one, well, actually, the main reason because it, I, I didn't want to play it is because the, the only way I could play it was, this is back when I had my old Xbox, but this, I could only play it through cloud gaming, which means the stream probably, which stream quality probably would have been shit, and I just didn't think it would be worth the hassle. And looking back on it, I'm so glad I, <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of sad I didn't play it because it's probably, it probably might have gone on slight viewer boost, but at the same time, I'm quite glad I did it as well because, well, 
the Starfield. Uh, from, from what I've heard, that games were banned by the mod by mod creators. You know, bad it the fuck fuck up at your game. That even the people who mod stupid shit don't want to use it. start getting geared up properly for any major encounter that went up. Is that a bush hat? Oh my god it is. That's rare find. I don't know the advantage of the bush. It might just be cosmetic, because there are a few things in this game that are just cosmetic. Find beefalo. The, the mice sound really weird for anyone who doesn't know how this game works, but I need to find beefalo. 